Hey folks, welcome back. We finally made it. It's finally here. And today it's not about Bitwig Studio. It's about another project I already covered on this channel a few months ago. And um, it's probably my most clicked or most viewed video on this channel for some reason. So it looks like a lot of people are actually interested in this project. And there's a big announcement today because Open Door goes finally open source. That's right. You can head over to GitHub. You can download all the files. You can build it on your own PC. You can make tweaks to it. You can make changes. You can add features. You can upload. You can fork. Whatever you want to do with it, you can do it as of now. Okay. The link is in the description below, but I also want to give you a quick tour here to show you some of the changes from, from the last video. Um, so here in the background, you can see open door running on the web page opendoor.studio. So if you don't want to build this for yourself on your local PC, you can still head over to opendoor.studio and create your own music without login, without a subscription. There are no fees. You don't need to click cookies away or anything like this. You just head over to opendoor.studio and you just make music. And if you want to download, download the whole thing, you can head over to GitHub and you can download all the files and you can make all the things you want to do to this door. You can do it. And um, there are also some additional features here um, in open door since my last video. So we have, for instance, here a new sampler called Playfield, which is a drum computer. We have a simple sampler called Nano. Very nice. Um, we have a stereo tool now and the stereo tool also features. Uh, I'll show you this in a minute. So stereo tool we have here also a new is Zeitgeist or Zeitgeist, how it's pronounced in Germany. Zeitgeist. OK, very hard edge pronounced. Um, so let's go uh, go, go to Playfield here. Um, it's basically a drum sampler. Um, that's here. So this is how it looks like. Let's increase here the size, the, the scale. Um, multiple cells. How you're used to basically how this looks like. It's the same in Ableton Live or Bitwig Studio. Multiple samples here, multiple cells. You can drag in the samples from your hard drive into these cells, and then they are played back. Um, just here with a note clip. Very easy. Very simple. You can also go into these samples here, make some tweaks and changes, go back out. And very straightforward, very easy, very simple. Um, then there's a stereo tool here. Um, the stereo tool is um, some useful utility plugin, however you want to call it. So you can change the volume, panning, stereo. Um, you can invert the left, the right channel. Um, and there's also here a feature called Auto Gain, which was my feature request. And I really want to have this in every DAW. So all you have to do here for the drums, for instance, you press this and then it's an analyzing the audio waveform for a few seconds. And it gives you here the right volume. So nothing peaks above zero dB. So it takes basically the last highest peak and pulls down the volume until the last highest peak is exactly at zero dB. So very straightforward normalizer here. Maybe the analyzing thing here could be a bit longer, um, but it, it works. It works neatly. Just have a quick volume change here and make sure nothing is above zero dB. So you don't need to tweak here basically the uh, slider or the faders all the time. Um, then you can hear in the background here the samples playing. But you can also introduce Zeitgeist or Zeitgeist, which is some kind of groove tool. So it gives you here a duration, one eight note and then an amount. So 50% is, I think, no change to the groove. And then you can pull this down or push it up and then it kind of moves everything between every eight note to the left and to the right side or stretches it. I don't know how to call it. So it's probably really nice for hip hop grooves, um, for everything else probably also. So it's very fun to play around with this because it's very simple and straightforward. You have just two knobs and you play around with it. You get nice grooves out of it, right? Okay, so just delete this. 
So Zeitgeist, Zeitgeist is new, um, Pitch is old, Stereo Tool is new, Nano. So Nano is here, something I used here for these melodies here. So this is Nano here in the front. It's just a volume knob, the release, release time and some kind of cell. You can also drag in samples from your hard drive into this uh, cell here. And then it uses C3 as the main pitch. And then it uses here the notes to transpose everything up or down. So my sample in here is basically a keyboard sample on C3. And then I play here some notes in it and that's it. Very straightforward, also very simple. But I also like to have these simple tools here in this browser uh, door because sometimes you just want to have some limitations. You just want to straightforward create a melody without distractions. You don't don't want to have all these uh, millions of options or possibilities like you have in Ableton Live or Bitwig. Here it's very straightforward. Just concentrate or focus on the melody, drag in a nice sample and play around with it. So this is Nano, uh, Playfield is also what I showed you here already. Okay, um, let's close this down, um, delete track. Okay, then we have also a new here, this kind of uh, piano tutorial view. Well, let's actually um, unmute. You can change the keyboard sizing. You can also disable certain tracks. So you can modify this. Maybe it's great for making videos or maybe to um, practice piano. I don't know, but it's nice to have and it looks nice. So this is the piano tutorial mode. Um, the mixer is still here. Um, we have, sam I think I showed this in the last video, we have here also local samples. So you can just drag in some samples in here and it's stored in your browser sandbox. It's a special directory on your local hard drive. I'm pretty sure you can also just drag this out to uh, a different directory or so. Uh, we can also change here uh, the names of the samples and very important also the BPM. So sometimes you want to have double time or half time of the samples like I have here with this drone uh, sample in the background. It's basically playing half time. So it's uh, 85 BPM, but I just changed it to um, 170 BPM. So it's playing basically half time. Um, so yeah, you can do this here and you can also export everything, make stems. So it gives you basically a zip file. Um, safe. It's also locally stored. We have a local storage here with all the files. It's not shared. It's not online. So it's very important to know. It's that, That's the point I want to make. You don't need to have this online. It's everything can be local, right? There's no login, no subscription. You don't have to pay anything. It's completely free as it gets, okay? There's no hook to it because certain people couldn't believe it in the last video. Uh, okay, so that's that. Um, in my opinion, pretty dope. Also here, this is the GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. Um, this one here is just the overview explaining all the ideas and shout outs to the people. And here are the links to the studio repo and also the library repo, so sub -module. So it's split up into three repository, repositories, more or less. So this is the studio one, all the files you need to build basically the, the, the DAW for yourself. And it's all based on JavaScript, HTML, CSS and that, that stuff. So if you are, if you can make a web page, you basically can understand what's happening in here. It's not based on uh, React. That's very special in my opinion. Um, everything is explained here, what you need to, uh, what you need to install, what kind of libraries you need or package managers or whatever, everything is in here. Then there's also a second here, a second um, repository for the libraries, also very nicely explained. And it's based on GPL version three 
license. That's maybe important to know. So all the links are in the description below. And also make sure you leave a donation to Andre to keep this project alive. Um, also, link is in the description below if you want to know that. So all I want to say is this is completely free. You can do whatever you want with it. All the links are in the description. Donation is also in the description if you want to uh, push a donation to Andre. It's very important. And um, it's a great project. I mean, what else do I have to say to you, right? Um, there's no hook. Pretty dope to have this. And I want to make an update video on this. Um, I hope you all like it. And please let me know if you have problems to you know, download this or maybe you have problems to install this or whatever. Let me know or head over to the, uh, to the Discord of Andre, to the Open Door Discord and ask some questions there. And they're all helpful. They all want to have this project succeeding. Um, and yeah, that's it. Leave a like, leave a subscription. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.